Hi everyone, in this video I would like to troubleshoot this particular problem. When I try to log into storefront, it gives this error message. Okay, when I try to log in, it says cannot complete your request. It is not taking my credentials actually. I, I, I'll click OK. Okay, let me log in as a different user and see how it goes. Let me log in as a Trix user. It throws the same error message again. It says cannot complete your request. I would click OK. Let's uh, let's let's try to connect from a different server. So this is a controller. So I'm trying to connect from a different server and see how it goes. Basically, I'm trying from a different machine. So uh, okay, I hit login. It throws the same error message. So there is something wrong uh, from the server end. Uh, let's quickly log in to storefront. So this is storefront server. Uh, let me check the event viewer if I can find some critical information. Okay, let's let me click on Windows logs and let's try application logs first. Okay, it's trying to load. Uh, okay, okay, I see a message here. It says license activation failed with the following error code. Uh, activation. Okay, let's try this. Acquisition of end user license failed. License acquisition. This doesn't seem like the right error message. Okay, so the issue happened like a few minutes ago. So this is like 10 50 in the morning. Okay, let's click on system logs and see how it goes. Okay, uh, 12 34. This was the latest event log. Okay, it says the Citrix default domain service entered the stopped state. All right, this is something interesting. Okay, the recent event log, it says the Citrix default domain service services service entered the stop state. Okay, let us check the services now. Okay, this is interesting. Click on services. Uh, let me look for what is a service. Uh, Citrix default domain service. Okay, let me scroll down. Okay, where is Citrix default? Okay, Citrix default domain service here. So yes, it is in stop state. Okay, let's try to start the service and see how it goes. Okay, I hope it is started. Uh, yes, it is started. Let's refresh once. Okay. It's refreshed and yeah, the service is, is running. All right, uh, so let's go back to uh, the storefront server. Let me log in and see how it goes this time. Okay, let me log in as Citrix user. Okay, I'm going to hit login. I hope the issue will get resolved. All right, it's doing something. All right, we logged in successfully. We don't see the error message anymore. We could log in successfully. So basically the Citrix default domain service went to the stop state and we could find the details. We could uh, get a hint from the event viewer. When we went to the event viewer, the first log that showed was about the Citrix default domain service. It entered the stop state. So we went and started the service from the services console and then we could log in successfully without any issues. 
all right i hope you find this information helpful if you like this video please like and subscribe to this channel and if you have any questions please leave a comment thank you